In today's video, we're talking about the absolute disaster piece movie that is David Lynch's Dune. But how does this look on 4K? Let's get into this. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, let's talk about movies. As I mentioned, we're taking a look at Dune, or Dune, however way you pronounce that. Uh, David Lynch's 1984 sci-fi movie here. Um, it isn't the best, I know it's kind of debated. Uh, lots of people love it, lots of people really dislike it, but I was able to pick up the Arrow 4K release here. And I wanna to talk to you guys about how the 4K looks and what else is involved in this release. So the quick unboxing here, we have the nice Arrow hard case that we are all used to. Once we get it out, there is reversible sleeve art on the Amore case, so we've switched it to the old kind of theatrical style uh, poster there, which is really nice artwork on that. Five postcards. Uh, the back of them is just the original artwork and then we get like, you know, a couple of scenes from the movie on those art cards. The actual 4K and Blu-ray disc artwork is representative of that new artwork for this Arrow release. Speaking of the artwork, we are getting a double-sided poster here guys. We get the new artwork and we get that original theatrical style poster. And as always, we're getting a nice Arrow uh, booklet in there full of writings on the movie and some more information. So let's talk technical on this one guys, June, Dune, 1984 original release, 2021 4K Arrow uh, release here. Aspect ratio, it's a 2.35 to 1, so you're going to get your black bars top and bottom of the screen. Audio wise, you have an option of a 2.0 stereo or a 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio Sound Mix. And you are getting a 4K HDR10 Dolby Vision. Uh, 4k disc in this release here. Let's talk about the audio quality on this Arrow release guys. For the purposes of this review here I listened to the 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio Surround Mix which is really really nice. I will say if you just hit the play movie off the main menu it's going to default to the 2.0 stereo mix so you need to switch the audio option on the menu or if you just have an audio button on your 4k player remote control just switch to the 5.1 mix that's how i listen to this one the soundtrack is really interesting you know uh the band toto done the soundtrack or the score brian eno does a kind of a team main team piece in there as well so i will say the soundtrack and the score is really quite interesting in june here and um audio is no problems for me the 5.1 mix is really nice you know everything's kind of going here in the room the surrounds are firing and um yeah overall really nice sound mix for this one so picture quality, what does it look like? That's what we all want to know. Is it worth an upgrade? Uh, this is a first time watch for me guys. I've never seen this before. Uh, I did get to about two years back. I got to work with a 70 mil print of June in work. So I'm going to throw in some pictures here so you can see. The 70 mil print does have a 2.20 to 1 aspect ratio. So it's a little bit different to the 2.35 to 1 scope. The movie was originally shot on 35 mil. So the 70 mil is a blow up print and as you can see there is some scratches and stuff on this it's a fairly old print that has done the rounds in 2021 at this stage so this is a 4k restoration from the original 35 mil camera negative which is always a thumbs up that's always good to hear and it's a 4k digital intermediate done this year 2021 as i'm making this video so it's a proper 4k release not a 2k upscale or any of that stuff we've seen previously there is some base scratches in the opening title sequence so a base scratch is a was is a black scratch when you've seen black lines on if you've seen an old 35 mil print in a cinema black scratches are base scratches and green scratches are emulsion scratches just to kind of let you guys know there so there is some base scratches in the opening credits there's some dirt and speckles in some of those visual the special effects shots where we get to see uh patrick stewart come in and they kind of have the the armor i guess for a better word the kind of cube kind of things that go on the outside of them you can see some dirt and speckles in those shots so uh, is this a perfect 4k restoration pristine and all that kind of thing no there's some dirt and scratches in there but i don't mind that guys that's you know that's all fine in my book it's that's just how it is it's fine the grain is in there it's really nice you know when you get up close you can see it and you know all that stuff and when you back away it's not as obvious uh perfect amount for me i will say there is some dark scenes in the movie uh, towards the middle of the movie and towards the end of the movie where the grain is more obvious in those dark scenes and i don't know if that's like an exposure thing on when it was filmed because as i said this was restored from the original camera negative i don't know uh, what the issue is there but the grain is more obvious and more prevalent in those darker scenes within the movie 
old school optical and practical effects for Dune here, Dune, and uh, really, uh, I really enjoy that. So if you guys know, big fan of the 80s stuff, so 84, this was right in the height of it. So um, there is some really, really cool practical mechanical effects in there. And then there's that optical stuff, as I said, which kind of looks hokey in this day and age. But you know, that's part of the charm of these old school 80s sci-fi movies. So bonus stuff guys, I want to quickly mention the bonus stuff here on this one. So as I mentioned, there's a 4K and a Blu-ray disc. So the 4K disc features no bonus features. The Blu-ray disc is where they're all at. And I, you know, there was a lot of debate over Daniel Griffith's Ballyhoo Films has a documentary on Dune that didn't make it to this release. Um, you know, there was a whole kind of Twitter thing about that. It's not featured on this. And I will say, looking at the Blu-ray disc and the menu involved in this one, it's obvious it was supposed to be there and it's just missing. Oh, in saying that, there is 103 minutes of bonus features included on this Arrow release of Dune. There is Beyond Imagination, Merchandising Dune, 23 minutes, really cool about the toys and the board games and all the merchandising that was involved in this really random 80s sci-fi movie, trying to cash in on Star Wars and stuff like that with the toys and sell them to kids. There is Prophecy Fulfilled, Scoring Dune, which is 25 minutes long, talking to the band Toto about scoring the movie. Interview with the makeup artist, 17 minutes long. Interview with a production coordinator, 26 minutes long uh, there's an actor interview with nine minutes long on this one also and there is an interview with the special makeup effects artist three minutes long all adds up to 103 minutes as i said guys so there is a decent amount of stuff on this it's just it's a shame that the uh the ballyhoo films documentary was omitted from this release so overall thoughts final thoughts on this one dune 4k release here by arrow june whatever you want to call it um yeah i actually you know in terms of the movie itself um like it was okay like it's i can see where the problems are with it and stuff and it's not the greatest but you know i wasn't gonna pass up this 4k release here and um, the 4k looks looks really good i really actually enjoyed it as i said i'm not put off by those couple of small scenes with dirt and scratches in there that's just how it is i think you know that kind of thing i've said it before on the channel guys it adds to the kind of the charm of these older movies for me personally and yeah really nice 5.1 audio mix on this you know those uh that 70 mil print that i talked about uh in work earlier uh had you know six track sounds so you get that 5.1 six track uh surround mix on this 4k release as well nice artwork nice hard cover 4k this is the limited arrow um, you know, if you want to grab this, guys, I would grab one fairly quick. So um, I do recommend that I can't compare with two previous Blu-ray releases because there's only a 4K version of the movie in this release. And I haven't owned it before. As I said, first time watch. So um, it's a strange one. Worms and spice and water and deserts. But there you go. That's kind of uh, my review here of Dune 4K for Arrow. I'd love to know, guys. Jump in the comments. What do you think of the movie? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Did you pick it up? Are you going to pick it up? What did you think of the 4K restoration here? If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. It really helps the channel grow. And if you are interested in my Patreon and YouTube membership accounts, these people make these videos possible each and every week. Those links are in the description below. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you on the next one.